Okay, so whoop. All right. in this video, we're going to show you how to um, change the frequency of a synth while the song is playing. So you're going to record a frequency change into your song that you can keep there permanently as part of your part of your mix. Okay, so you're going to open up FL Studio here. Um, and basically, you're, you're going to choose a synth. Okay, so you got to pick a synth that you're going to use. Um, this can be done in like a in a real song, so you'll have a lot more stuff here in the playlist. But I'm just gonna do it to one synth because I have a lot of shit plugged into my computer, and I don't want like the latency or I don't, like I don't want it to start start glitching up on me. Um, I need more processors. I only I have a laptop, so. All right, we're gonna pick a synth, right? I'm gonna go with this one. I've been using this in pretty much all my videos so far. So we're gonna go with this synth, and we're gonna record something real quick um, using that synth, just a quick melody. Okay. So there's that. You can quantize it if you want, but there's no point because this is just a tutorial. So there's the melody, okay? And what we're going to do is, as this is playing, alright? So we're basically just going to change this frequency knob here. Most synths have a frequency knob uh, on them, on the screen. If they don't, though, you can try to get around it by connecting this to a mixer channel, mixer track, and adding in an EQ, and then just sweeping the frequency on the equalizer. Although that's not like the real way you're supposed to use an equalizer, it is a way to change frequency. However, most of them have a frequency knob, like this right here. So you're just going to move this. Um, and that's cool, it sounds great, but it doesn't do anything to the actual song. So the song. Wherever the frequency level is, that's only where the song is going to play. So, what you want to do is you want to record while that's going. So, as that's playing, you want to change that frequency. All right, and then it'll record into that clip like this. Okay. And it's only going to go as far as that clip because remember you're recording this directly into pattern one and pattern one is only four measures long. Um, so whenever that pattern ends and you add another one, so you have multiple patterns, all right, they're all going to be the same with that same recording. You can't go all the way through. You can though, and I'll show you how to do that. And while I show you how to do that, I want to show you something else as well. So I'm going to insert a new pattern and I'm going to copy this into the new pattern. Okay, so you just control command A or control A and then you just copy that and then copy and paste. So that's popped into a new, a new pattern that doesn't have any frequency change. Okay, so now there's four of them. It's going to be 16 measures of this. Okay, and to record this one, you can also link this to an external controller. Like, if you have one of these, um, it has uh, these knobs on it, alright? You can link, you can link that frequency or anything, you can change the pluck, you can change the amplitude, the attack, um, release, anything. Um, you, can, you can attach those to these knobs on the controller and do it with your hands, so it's more hands-on. Okay, so to do that, you just right click on this frequency um, knob here and then link to controller. This MPD is not plugged in, but I can link it to my MIDI keyboard. So I'm going to link it to my MIDI keyboard over here. All right, and now as the song plays. You can modulate, you can not modulate, but modify, change the frequency. Alright, 
so like that um and it's still only going to record as long as the measure is so if you record into this pattern which is a big problem that happens often so say i record into this pattern this new pattern it's only going to go as far as the pattern goes see because they're all the same pattern you can't like go all the way through four or 16 measures of it because it's all the same pattern so to get around that that you can get around that um and to do that i'm going to make a new pattern again one more time so i'm going to come in insert another pattern and i'm going to paste that same melody into it i'm going to delete these and i'm going to paste the clean one in okay and how you fix that is you make another pattern that's completely blank there's nothing on this pattern and this is the pattern that you're going to put the frequency change on okay so now we're going to come back and record make sure you're recording on the green light so you're recording into the playlist that's how you do that now as you can see this frequency change that you just added in as a new pattern now this is pattern one this is pattern two so this pattern one just has the frequency change and it can be as long or as short as you want it to be and it's not going to stop at the end of pattern two so you play through systems doing that because it's recorded into the system all right so that's how you change the frequency um, in FL studio and that's a very useful it's kind of like an intermediate to advanced uh, technique in electronic music so I hope that helps if you have any questions about how to do this you could go back and watch or um, which is also useful but or helpful to me because it, it looks cool but drop a comment below uh, give a like and subscribe because I have a lot of these videos and I'm, I'm making a lot more of them, so stay tuned and thank you for watching.